trouble. You want to get out of here, right? What if I can offer you a chance? And what does my chance require? Someone's changing the proper flow of time. You're here to help me catch this guy. Who is it? Someone very familiar. You gotta be kidding me. He could be hiding anywhere, anytime. How nice to meet you. Original series now streaming only on Disney+. Plus. What's going on, guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman, a.k.a. Allfires. We've actually received two new TV spots in the last couple of days. The first one we showed is still making its rounds only as an advertisement, the second of which was uploaded by Marvel Studios yesterday, giving us a glimpse at the third episode and presumably some scenes from the rest of the series, including this one. We're going to do our best to go scene by scene, talk about what we see, a couple of them we can discern from episode two, a couple of them we definitely need more context. We're going to go over all the brand new shots from the two new trailers. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're still giving away a PlayStation 5 now at 900,000 subscribers, as well as Disney Plus subscriptions every week while the shows are live. We're also giving away the CGC Signature Series graded 9.4 Avengers 118, signed by Tom Hiddleston and Elizabeth Olsen. If you want to be entered to win, all you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then leave a comment down below. And if you want, stick around to the end of the video. We'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. So we have about four or five brand new shots to go over. So let's quickly run through them and guess what we're looking at. The first of which is this sort of panning out from the middle of the sun in the galaxy. I don't think that's meant to just give us the scope of what's going on with the TVA, but they did mention all sorts of calamities, including a supernova. That may be the supernova that they were referring to in one of the first two episodes. Now, the second new scene and one that I think is attributed the most new frames is this shot right here. Now, clearly in the left hand side, and you would have missed it. It's only up for one frame. You can see the multicolor magic coming together to possibly make one of those time doors. I'm not going to say this is where they're exactly going to escape to as they left the rocks on cart in the last episode, but it does look like they're entering here. Loki looks astonished when he lands in the next shot. You see a pirate ship in the foreground. However, this is landlocked. It looks like we're in the mountains by the surrounding area. You also see in the background what looks like a spaceship. So a mixing of technologies. This sort of feels all the way in the future or all the way in the past. Now, with the look of a ship, I was quick to jump for thoughts of Atlantis. As that's what we've been talking about a lot and what's going on with the Eternals. You also see a spaceship right there. But, but as genuinely concerned as Loki looks here, I think this is more more along the lines of she's about to open doorway through doorway and we're going to see all of the places she just bombed. Keep in mind, she bombed Vermeer. We see what looks like her sitting there in the trailers, the destruction of the Avengers Tower as she bombed New York. Could this be Asgard? No, not the one that had Ragnarok, but rather new Asgard where they resettled. But keep in mind for devil's advocacy's sake, pun totally intended that Loki hasn't even seen Ragnarok at this point and doesn't really care about Asgard, rather his own sort of conquering of a new world where he can be king and in all out power. So I'm not sure he would feel that sentimental about new Asgard, just given the geography and how it looks could be an option. Now, of all the other scenes that are shown, there's very little context. We see the hooded figure here running amongst all of this color and smoke. And since we've already seen Lady Loki or Enchantress, or Sylvie, depending on where you find her name and who we think she is, that's probably who this is. And again, without the rest of the context for some of these other scenes, it's pretty hard to tell. However, you have to presume some of them are coming from episode three. And so I think it follows that we will get most of what we just saw in that very first trailer I showed you guys while I've been talking throughout this video, because it'll just be her hopping through all these destructions, explaining what's going on. And that confusion and concern that we see on Loki's face isn't for new Asgard or any one specific location, but rather his brain just trying to keep up. Of course, yes, there are some symbols over here on the left that are in orange and immediately made me think of the TVA, and perhaps this is on the way to the Timekeepers, as was revealed in the last episode as the main of goal and objective again of whatever we're calling this Lady Loki and let's just stick with that until the final reveal however they don't really implicate anything nor does this location and really there is so little context we're talking about getting a couple of frames each for these locations it's really hard to tell either way guys let me know all your thoughts down below and craziest theories for the upcoming episode 3 we've got some theories of our own we'll be running in the next couple of days as always I am so happy to hear all of your thoughts and feedback I know you guys are really enjoying the show I am as well let me hear all your feedback and quickly let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. We're still giving away a PlayStation 5 now at 900,000 subscribers, as well as Disney Plus subscriptions every Friday while the shows are live. We're also giving away that 9.4 graded CGC signature series 
Signature Series. It's hard to say that every time. CGC Signature Series that has Tom Hiddleston and Elizabeth Olsen's signature on the front. You know what? I'm leaving it in. I'm leaving it in. If you want to be entered to win the subscribers, uh, the subscriptions, the PlayStations, the comic, any of the future giveaways, which will include tickets, uh, all the same rules will always apply, guys. It's super simple. Just be a subscriber, so hit the subscribe button. Then make sure you leave a comment down below because it's truly random. The more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos the same way we're doing here. And the best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with notifications turned on. My name is Michael Roman. You can find me over on Instagram and Twitter at I am Fires. You can also find me over on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, wherever you find original music under the name All Fires. Thanks for checking out the channel, guys, and stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.